And welcome back to Florida Powerboat Club on the YouTube channel. We also call it Powerboating in Paradise. Uh, Stu Jones with our producer Ryan McCoy in the Pompano Beach studio as we now reach the final, and that's episode number eight with feature coverage of the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week event, 2021 edition, September in the Florida Panhandle, headquartered in Destin, Florida. And we have got a lot of action and excitement and parties and boating in this episode eight. But before we get started, let's thank our sponsors. Our 2021 series sponsors include Blackwater Boats, Deep Impact Custom Boats, and their worldwide dealer, Plantation Boat Mart, Mystic Power Boats, and newest to our 21 series sponsors is Cigarette Racing Team and their authorized dealer, Top Gun Yachts. Also their Florida dealer, Chief Marine Group in Isla Mirada, Midnight Express Power Boats, Myco Trailers, Mercury Racing Wide Open, Performance Boat Center with two locations in Florida and Missouri, and Nortec High Performance Boats. In addition to our series sponsors, we'd like to welcome feature sponsors for the Emerald Coast event, including Alicomp Insurance, Emerald Grand and Harborwalk Village, our Poker Run headquarters, Legendary Marina Destin, our official launching and staging headquarters for the event. And AJ Seafood and Oyster Bar on the Destin Harbor, our official sponsor dock for the event. And our newest sponsor, Fear the River Poker League. And before we get started, let's just give everybody a quick recap of where we are and where we're going. Of course, this is a four-day event. We had a little fun run on Thursday and then another ride out to Juana's and Navarre on Friday. It's a Saturday poker run, and we are completing the course. So far today, we got things started back in Destin Harbor with our first poker card, and we worked our way around the course from San Destin up to Niceville, Florida, over to Shalimar on the top of the Bay Area, back down through Fort Walton Beach, and now we have headed all the way westbound, the extreme end of the course. We're arriving in Pensacola Beach, and this is our seventh and final checkpoint for the day as the teams will pull up to the dock and get their poker cards. They can beach the boats or dock the boats, and we're going to have a great lunch here at Flounders on the Beach, known for its fresh seafood. So let's find out who's dealing the cards. Hi, my name is Shelby, and this is the Flounder Stop. <laughs> and a point worth mentioning that Shelby is also our Miss Powerboat Week 2021. She won the contest at Harry T's. And speaking of bikinis, well, it looks like Kyle Fowler has got a lovely lady up to get the poker card as he pulls his 38-foot fountain up to the dock. And this is the segment that we call Up Close and Personal, and that's why I love the poker card handoff. Looks like it's now Octavio and Karen Valdivia in their big Concept 44 and there's Octavio himself up on the bow. Ooh, a little stumble, but he grabs it. <laughs> and so far, we haven't lost anybody off the bow. But if it happened here, it wouldn't be so bad. It's a sandy bottom. And the surf temperature's well into the 80s still here in September. Well, it looks like the center consoles are taking the stage today. That was uh, first a fountain, followed by a concept. And now it's a Nortec 340 Sport. JT and Brenda Byrne, uh, their second event this summer. They joined us at the Orange Beach event back in May and uh, now returning here in September. Nortec 340 is a very popular center console in the club. In fact, we've got about seven Nortecs here on the run. And just to prove the point, well, here's another one right now, Roger and Pam Anderson. Uh, this is the big sister ship. It's a Nortec 390 Sport. This one's powered by Quad Mercury Racing 450s. That's about as much horsepower as you can bolt onto the transom of this Nortec model, which uh, has been around now for about 10 years. And it's a great poker run boat because of its 10-foot beam makes it easy to trailer down the highway. Roger and Pam Anderson are regulars with Florida Powerboat Club. They're from Texas, but they do a lot of events year-round with FPC. Well, Brent is uh, breaking that chain of constant center consoles uh, with his 31-foot skater. This one's powered by Twin Mercury Racing 400s. He used to be a V-bottom guy in a cigarette. We haven't seen him for a little while. And he came back to join us at the Emerald Coast with this 31 cat. And this is really an ideal event for these guys that love the twin outboard cats because it's a calm water venue. There's a lot of open water running. You can really get the boats comfortable at 100 miles an hour and run all day long and feel safe. And that's why they're a big hit on these events. And we opened the segment with a Fountain 38-foot center console. And here's another one. This one's got a little bit more horsepower. Ed Champion from Big Thunder Marine. His first time here at the Emerald Coast event, he told me he wanted to do this event for a very long time. 
And he had two reasons to join us because he's also got his wife with him and they're celebrating a big anniversary here this weekend and a closer look at this uh, cockpit of this boat with the twin bolster seats and the nice graphics and check out those triple Mercury Racing 450s. What a great poker run machine. And special thanks to Big Thunder Marine for joining FPC as a 2022 series sponsor. And here's a couple that has done this event for many, many years, probably 20 years that they've been attending here, Mark and Eileen Fisher. But for so many of those years, they were doing them in Nortec high performance boats. And more recently, uh, Mark Fisher acquired Deep Impact and Blackwater boats. So you're only going to see him in one of those two brands. This is a Deep Impact 399, a brand new boat, one of their newest models. This one powered by Quad Mercury Racing 400Rs. And uh, Plantation Boat Mark trailered the boat all the way from the Florida Keys to bring it up here to the Panhandle so they could all enjoy it together. And that's what they're doing today. And it's uh, George and Kerry Olson in their 35-foot Mar Lago center console. They came in all the way from Texas to join us, and I was happy to see their name on the roster for the Orange Beach Powerboat Week, which is coming up here very shortly in mid-May uh, over at the wharf in Orange Beach, Alabama. So we'll get to see them again soon. And now this uh, 38 Fountain pulling up to the dock. Uh, Bill and Megan Wiles also from Texas, a team never enough, and they, they've been doing this event now. Oh, about three years in a row they seem to be having a good time and this boat gets around trust me they've been down to the key west poker run with it twice and now up here in the panhandle and that's a soft sandy bottom they're just stirring it up they're not actually hitting bottom here at this checkpoint just stirring up the sand and another first time for ray key and his crew came all the way from miami with team hammer time uh deep impact 399 one of the first ones that was ever built He's got a new one on order, and we're probably going to see it for the Key West Poker Run. And a familiar crew, we see them on this event quite often, Mark and Lana Albert, also from Texas, a 38 Fountain with Mercury Racing 525s. And here's a team that's from a home port we don't see often, Rod and Sarah McLaughlin, all the way from Iowa with this 39-foot velocity Team Summer Recess. Well, that is going to wrap up the Poker Card handoff segment. You can see that some of the boats have uh, turned and gone back eastbound. It's about a 40-mile ride back to Destin on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. And I just want to mention that uh, some of our guests who came up to the Flounders uh, stayed and had lunch there. They had many options for lunch stops in the day. Others returned back to Destin, and uh, some people just headed for Crab Island or Noriego Point just to spend the rest of the day enjoying the sun and fun. And fast forward about three or four hours, and we are getting ready for the Saturday Night Bash at the Emerald Grand. And we have got a new party format established uh, by the catering team here at Emerald Grand, uh, saying that uh, they do a lot of weddings with these big tents in the parking lot. And that's the only way that they can safely accommodate close to 300 people. And with not a lot of other options, uh, we took their lead on that. And uh, the next thing you know, we were set up in a beautiful tent, and they did a great job of presenting the party. Anybody who has visited uh, the Emerald Grand before, they know that they're really professionals at catering and doing special events like weddings. So they do a lot of weddings. Of course, it being late in September, the weather was really nice. There was very low heat and low humidity. And there was plenty to keep everybody busy with the ladies uh, playing out the poker cards as well as uh, watching all of the videos on the big screen. Of course, uh, food and beverage being served throughout the evening. Time for us to get our sponsor awards started. And let's begin by thanking uh, Team Blackwater Boats and Deep Impact Boats, their sister company, both of them manufactured in Miami, and their exclusive worldwide dealer, Plantation Boat Mart, based in Tavernier, Florida, in the heart of the Florida Keys. And special thanks to Mystic Power Boats uh, for their continued support with the Florida Power Boat Club. On hand to accept the award was Neil and Cindy Campbell, owners of this brand new Mystic 4200, which was registered for the Emerald Coast event. Other Mystic center console models in the lineup include the 38, as well as the new 52 coming soon. And now their most popular catamaran is the 40 Carbon Edition. It's powered by Mercury Racing 450s. And Nortec High Performance had a great showing here at the Emerald Coast event. Representing them was Team Bent Marine with at least four or five entries. We saw a variety of 34 and 39 models here at the event, along with a new Nortec 452 Superfish. 
And thank you to Midnight Express Boats, based in Miami, representing them here at the event. David Carey in his brand new Midnight 37 model, powered by Quad Mercury Racing 450s, and of course, crewed by these lovely ladies on Team Punch It. And a very special thanks to Stephen and Kelly Marina from Alicomp Insurance in Alabama. They attended the event with their family on this Nortec 390 Sport. Thank you to Concept Boats for joining us. They had two new boats arrive here at this event. A brand new 4400 for Don and Donald Haddon, as well as this 4400 for Octavio and Karen Valdivia from Pensacola. And uh, one of our newest sponsors to the event, Philip and Ashley Bennyworth from Fear of the River Poker League. And for the President's Choice Award for the farthest travel that went to Frank Bolte, who traveled all the way from Paris, France, to join us for the event. And the most spirited team went to Team Obsession, Rufus and Leslie Scott with their 47-foot fountain. And, of course, this is why. Nobody's ever had a dinosaur on the deck of their boat picking up the poker card. And we should have a theatric award for Wes Harlow. He's the guy inside the dinosaur suit. Nice job, Wes. And my choice for best paint and graphics went to Al Jr. and Liz Copeland for their brand new Nortec 390. Yes, it's a wrap, but that's allowed now in our new rules. <laughs> it looks great. What a beautiful Nortec. And we had a lot of boats that had uh, breakdowns and various gremlins, but I gave the Broken Propeller Award to Mark Bush because those guys had such a good team spirit. And even though they got towed back, they still had a lot of fun. And the best team name went to Team Lickalonapus, uh, Mark and Lana Albert. I'll let you guys figure that one out. And the sexiest crew went to the team that came all the way from Miami, Team Hammer Time, Ray Aki and his lovely ladies. It's not the first time they've won this award. They've won it in Key West many times, but I had to give them credit for coming all the way from Miami to join us for their first time here in the Florida Panhandle. So we've got all the poker hands played out, and let's move on with the program and talk about our final table tonight, which is an exciting part here at every Emerald Coast Poker Run event. And it's a traditional thing to do the final table. The way we got those winners was to pull the top nine hands on the Poker Run boards, and then the 10th seat was a buy-in, and that was done by Mark and Eileen Fisher. And that gave us a total of 10 players at the final table with the elimination of one player on each and every round. And with our new sponsor, Phil Benningworth here from Fear of the River Poker League, well, it only made sense to ask him to be our official dealer. He said, no problem, Stu, I got this. And for those of you who are curious about the funds that we raise up for the extra hands and for the buy-in, all of that goes to local charities. A total of four charities were appointed for this event, and those are the Aliqua Animal Rescue, Fisher House at Eglin Air Force Base, the Emerald Coast Science Center in Fort Walton Beach, and Destin's Kids on the Coast. And with all the hands played out, congratulations to our third place winner, Stephen Doomer and his crew on Team Loose Cannon, 38 foot cigarette Top Gun. This team is from Mississippi. And congratulations to Mark and Eileen Fisher for winning second place in their Deep Impact 399. They go to a lot of poker runs, but rarely do they win any, so this was a really big occasion for them. And congratulations to Roger and Pam Anderson from Texas for winning the grand prize. That's right, first place in this Nortec 390 Sport. They've been on this event many, many years and finally got a chance to take the podium with a top position. So congratulations to this couple who do a lot of events with the club. So happy to have them back here at the Emerald Coast Power Boat Week. The Saturday Night Awards party was a great evening for everyone in attendance. The weather was fantastic. The Emerald Grand staff rolled out the red carpet, and I think everybody had a fantastic time as things wind down. It's not time to say goodbye quite yet because we still have another full day ahead of us. And yet another beautiful day here in Destin as we now hit Sunday. So for many of us, it's a fourth or our fifth day here boating. Not a stitch of rain, blue skies every day, mild temperatures at night. Warm in the daytime, in the mid-80s, but ideal poker run weather, I would say, ideal for boating anywhere. And I think that's the attraction for so many people 
to be able to come here now in September instead of August when it's so hot. I've had nothing but great praise and a lot of emails and a lot of text messages and people telling me at the party last night how much they love these new dates. So I'm going to lock it in here at the Emerald Grand and Harbor Walk Village and of course AJ's and all of our sponsors and let everybody know that the Emerald Coast Powerboat Poker Run is now a September event opening up the fall season every year. So happy to leave that thought with you guys as you plan ahead for next year. Meanwhile, thanks to all of our sponsors that joined us, for all of you who continue to support the club, all of our series sponsors as we see listed in our banner, and of course some of the new guys on the block like Phil from Fear of the River Poker who jumped on board with us this year. Another great one, 2021, closing the season off here soon. One more big one for the rest of the year. That's going to be the Key West Poker Run just around the corner as we head to Key West in November. Already 250 registered boats. It's going to be a big one. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Well, guys, you know we wouldn't really say goodbye in this episode until we give you some high-speed aerials from the FPC photo and video crew flying now with Timberview helicopters out of Destin. We flew on Friday, we flew on Saturday, and now here we are flying again on Sunday. And it's a tradition here on the Emerald Coast event. Me in the front seat and uh, Eric Kristen from RGC Media in the back seat, our pilot at the controls of this Robinson R44 helicopter, a very stable platform and one that we've been using for going on 30 years with the club, photographing all of these events. Being up here in the air today and looking down on these beautiful waters makes you realize where they got the name the Emerald Coast. The color of the water is truly amazing. It has a lot to do with the white sugary sand along the beaches and, uh, and the bright sun just lights up the water and gives it these beautiful green colors. And closing in now on Destin Harbor, we have notified all of our club members that we're going to be doing one more photo shoot. We generally try to focus on the people that may have been missed on the earlier two days, uh, and that way everybody gets a chance to get into the video. Uh, but uh, surely some people are going to show up anyway, even though they didn't get missed. Everyone loves a little bit of love from the chopper. We do things a little differently. We do run around in the bay waters for a little bit, but we like to spend a little time going out the east pass into the gulf waters as long as the sea conditions are ideal, which they are today as we now catch up with Frank Bolte and Captain Sean Evans at the helm of this MTI 44. It's powered by Mercury Racing 1100s, a great poker run machine, one that can easily get up around the 140 mark without too much trouble. Today they're just going to get comfortable at about 100 miles an hour out in this slight swell, getting a little bit of air time on this MTI and having a lot of fun. And now I'm going to spend some time with Mark and Lana here in their 38-foot fountain. Notice it's a little different looking than those others uh, that we saw. This is an executioner model, which makes it kind of a retro fountain model because it goes back to the late 80s when Reggie started building these boats. Notice uh, the V shape of the windshield and some of the bodywork and styling just above the rub rail. But that certainly makes it a classic fountain, but it's a late model with Mercury Racing 525s. Not the best audio capture by our video camera today, but we're going to work on that for the next event. Thanks to Mark and Lana for being great supporters of this event year after year. And we look forward to seeing you guys at the upcoming Orange Beach Powerboat Week. And now we're joining uh, James and Sonia Redding, who live both in Georgia and in Mexico. They've got their Deep Impact 399 here. The first time they've attended the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week event. When they first got the boat, they did Key West, and they've done it two years in a row. And I was just happy that they made the trek up here to the Florida Panhandle to join us for the Emerald Coast event. And uh, you know, I read in their video bio that they just had a blast, and they really 
we're glad that they made the extra effort to get over here because what they saw was something that they really hadn't ever experienced before with these beautiful waters and just a different vibe here uh, in Destin and the Florida Panhandle for this event. And I can't help but notice just how great this deep impact is riding. You wouldn't normally sit way forward in a seat like this out in these coastal waters, but uh, those people sitting in the forward seats and uh, right there, uh, what I call on the queen seat in front of the helm, everybody's comfortable. And, you know, they still have room for about four or five more people. That's what I love about these center consoles. They're just great for poker runs. And I think we're going to have a little trouble keeping up with this fast cat, a skater 388 to Ashton Guidry from Louisiana. And uh, the boat was registered by his dad, Shane Guidry, but I guess Shane had to skip town and uh, go take care of us of some important business. And he left town early this morning. Remember, we saw their big yacht, that 130 Westport, was our poker run checkpoint in Sandestin on Saturday morning. And I'm pretty sure the last thing that Ashton uh, said to his dad was, well, by the way, Dad, you did leave the keys to the skater, right? And one more time with Al Jr. and Liz Copeland here with this Nortec 390 Team Sweet Heat. And uh, now this certainly illustrates why I enjoyed giving this boat the Best Paint and Graphics Award. And uh, look at those motors. Look at those Mercury Racing 450 cowlings. They carry the designs and the sides of the boat right through the motors. And they even go up on the T-top to bring all the color together and look really, really closely. You'll see blended color into the interior of the boat. They really went out of their way to make sure this boat was very well color coordinated. And it's a statement that says, hey, we're out to have fun and put on a show. And that's exactly what they're doing. I think he might've learned that from his dad, Al Senior, huh? Take a look back, guys, because this beast throws an amazing rooster tail. And for that, we're going to give her the official rooster tail award for the Emerald Coast Power Boat Week. And our last boat here on this Sunday run over in the Bay Waters, uh, Jerry Swanson, Team AMG, the 41-foot cigarette powered by Mercury Racing 1100s. And one of a very few center consoles that can claim a speed record at the Lotto shootout just a few years earlier. I believe that they got it to go 104 or 105 miles per hour. That may seem like a lot for a center console, but remember, this is one very different center console built for comfort with speed on tap. Well, that was a wonderful way to spend a Sunday morning, guys. Uh, I love doing that at the end of every Emerald Coast Powerboat Week event. Thanks to Timberview Helicopters for doing some great flying for us. And, of course, to Eric, Kristen, and his team from RGC Media for joining us uh, to shoot this entire event. With four consecutive days of beautiful weather and uh, cooler temperatures, I can say for certain that this event is locked in for the last weekend of September in our upcoming 2022 calendar. Well guys, at the end of the afternoon Sunday, I was enjoying a cold drink on my balcony at the Emerald Grand, enjoying this ceremony of this young couple getting married down on the deck at the Emerald Grand. This wedding music is something we just piped in. What they're actually hearing is this. Thanks to Mark Campbell and his crew, Team Six Shooter from Georgia, who are winding down their day here at Noriego Point. Guys, you just can't make this stuff up. You gotta love it.
Don't worry, Mark. Uh, nobody's mad at you. Actually, the bride and groom thought it was pretty funny. So thanks for joining us, guys. Well, that wraps up our eight-episode series with feature coverage of the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week 2021 edition from September of 21 here in the Florida Panhandle. Destin headquarters at the Emerald Grand. Guys, I enjoyed that one. But guess what? We have got just around the corner an epic series coming to you with feature coverage of the 2021 edition of the Key West Offshore Poker Run, celebrating 29 years with members of the Florida Powerboat Club. And it will be presented by Cigarette Racing. And we can't even begin to count how many episodes we have coming. But all we know is you can't afford to miss a single one, guys. So remember, always just hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. That way you'll get an update every time a new episode is released. Be sure to check out the website at flpowerboat.com for all of the details about upcoming poker run events in 2021, as well as membership information. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club, and you can follow us on Twitter and on these Instagram pages. Thanks to all of our viewers uh, for your wonderful comments on our page, and you guys know who you are. And I really do appreciate that. But if you have questions or comments you want to direct to me specifically, please use my personal email at stew at flpowerboat.com. I check that daily and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We're going to sign off for now. This is Stu Jones along with our producer Ryan McCoy in the Pompano Beach studio. Have fun out there, guys. Be safe on the waterways. Wear your life jackets when the time is right. And always respect your fellow boaters. Bye for now.